California's salmon season could be in jeopardy. Fisheries are expected to call off the entire season over record low numbers. A final decision could be made sometime this week. Our Kenny Choi shows us what people are doing in the North Bay to save an endangered salmon species and what fisheries are demanding to prevent their industry from becoming extinct. One by one, biologist Ayano Hayes carefully places native plants into the rich soil, providing food sources for native insects that salmon in the nearby Lagunitas Creek need to thrive. As we're taking those invasives out, we're making room for planting all the natives in. It's restoration work to help address what state fish and wildlife calls a serious decline in California coho salmon for decades. The loss of habitat, impact of dams, rising river temperatures and extreme drought have taken a toll on the species. A good amount of rain is beneficial, but extremely strong currents after heavy rainfall can have a negative impact. Since the juveniles are so small, they're, they're most susceptible to um, stronger flows. With an ecosystem so fragile and outlook so bleak, the sight of coho salmon spawning isn't taken for granted. This spawner season um, was a bit on the lower side. Lift, lift. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. Professional fishing guides also worry the serious decline in endangered coho since the mid-century <laughs> is also happening now to the Chinook. Alarmingly low counts of Chinook have fisheries calling to close the entire commercial and recreational salmon season. Everyone wants to fish, but what we saw in the numbers, and we did hear a lot from the people that understood the abundance numbers that we were given that day, was that the numbers are in the toilet and we're in, we're in trouble. We're on the industry right believes sacrifice now is part of the answer to help build back the ocean stock. For conservationists like Hayes and the Salmon Watershed Protection Network, the work continues. They're building more floodplains. That water can spread and enter into the seasonal channel um, and allow for this area to have slow moving water. That ultimately helps juvenile coho become adults. Doing work like restoration uh, feels very important and impactful. And that gives the endangered species a fighting chance of surviving in an environment that's often flowing in the wrong direction. So before state and federal officials actually get involved, a group of fishery associations is expected to vote to close the season at the end of the month.